Hey guys, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is, oh my God, how come like literally the past million videos I've made have been like videos I never thought I was gonna make or didn't wanna have to make or whatever, but that's where we are. Here we are. There's been so much nasty, horrible, toxic drama in the drama community lately, just from all kind of different angles. And I never wanna take a video about this. I didn't wanna get involved. I didn't want to say my two cents on it because guess what? Like, I I see all sides of the situation. This video you're gonna watch that I'm making today is not me gonna be on the side that I think a lot of you think I'm gonna be the, on the side of. And the reason of that is because I'm not on anyone's side in this. Um, there has been so much drama going on with Rich Lux, Dustin Daly, Nick Snyder. Paige Christie, Van Luke, now Vanessa, it's me, Vanessa, duh, Chime Philly's involved. All these people are involved now. And I never wanted to talk about this online. I never wanted to address it online. Trust me, don't think that it hasn't been taken up some of my personal life because there's been a lot going on that I'm hearing behind the scenes about it. But I never wanted to talk about it online. But it's there's just too much hurt now. And I'm going to, I'm going to say what my thoughts are on it. Um, this whole thing started with Nikocado Avocado, a video Rich made about Nikocado Avocado with a poorly, a, a, an extremely poor taste thumbnail. And the video in itself was also in poor taste, in my opinion. Okay. Um, I said I thought it was in poor taste online. It's not a secret. If you follow me on Twitter, I said it was it was in poor taste online. And I didn't like the video, didn't like the thumbnail, okay? I myself have done a similar thing in the past where I, um, where I said something about Trisha Paytas losing her baby back in the day when she fell. And Dustin Daly, he left a similar comment in my comment section about that he then slid in my DMs or I slid in his DMs. I don't remember what order it was. We talked about it. I changed the thumbnail, changed the title of the video. And then after talking with people around me, one of them being rich, I decided, and he, but he was not the only one. Okay. There was other people around me as well. Um, I decided to change it back. Okay. I'm not proud of that decision that I made with that, but this video is not about that. I'm just kind of saying that for context. I've, I've, I've also had Dustin tell me that something I did was in poor taste. Where this has gone since then has just, it's just completely not even about what this started out as. And because of that reason, because this has just gone so far left, I have no choice to believe that this is just coming from a place of a lot of deep hurt from a friendship between all of these people. You know, I have this theory, this saying that I say about relationships in my life, and that's that not everybody that comes into my life as a friend is supposed to be in my life as a friend forever. Some people are coming through to teach me a lesson to, um, to help me grow in some way or whatever, what have you. And that whenever that lesson is learned or whenever that growth is finished, then, then, you, then you grow apart. It's my personal belief that that is what's happened with these people. That these people came into each other's lives in a, in a time when they were all growing on social media when they were, you know, collabing and sending each other different, you know, dramas and, you know, excuse me, my heartburn, um, really kind of growing and thriving in this drama space during the heart of the beauty community drama back in like 2018, 2019, right? Maybe even before that 2017, a little bit. That's when these people really came in, into each other's lives, I believe, and you know they really help each other grow they all helped each other and i'm referring to nick dustin rich and paige 
since then, every one of those person's lives has changed drastically, okay? Rich has, has been consistent with his uploads, uploaded daily. His channel has grown. He's in a different space than he was back then. And his channel has really grown, okay? And that's the way that he's grown. Paige has kids. She's married. She lives overseas. Her life, she's now a mom. She is, you know, and she is sad that she doesn't want to be doing the petty type of silly YouTuber drama stuff that once was what brought all these people together. Dustin Daly and Nick Snyder have also said that they don't want to participate in this petty YouTuber drama stuff that brought these people together. Um, you know, Nick's perspective kind of changed a lot after his mom's passing, I believe, and that will do that will do that to you. I think that the core of what's happening here is that these people have grown apart and because of that, um, they they just don't really mesh or get along any well. Uh, get along, I can't talk, excuse me. They do not get along well anymore because they have just grown apart, okay? That is truly what I believe is the heart of the situation. I think Dustin Daly is a lovely person. I think Nick Snyder is a lovely person. I really do. I think, and by the way, Nick Snyder is gorgeous. He's like, oh my God, when I met him in person, I was like, oh my God. I think Paige Christie, I have never met her, but what, from what I see online, I think she is a lovely person, okay? Um, Rich Lux is a good person. Rich Lux is a lovely person. Rich Lux is flawed. I can comment on Rich Lux's flaws because I know him like that to comment on his flaws. I'm not gonna talk about Nick Snyder, Dustin Daly Page's flaws in this video. Guess what? Because I don't know them like that to comment on them, okay? Where this started out was about a video title and thumbnail that went wrong. They had a falling out in their group chat, which by the way, if you guys haven't learned this lesson already, group chats are never gonna end well and no matter what setting you have. I can't, and let me know in the comment section down below, you guys, if y'all have suffered a similar situation. For every single group chat I have ever been a part of in my entire life has resulted in a bomb exploding and you know, like it just being disaster, okay? Rich Lux is not, beyond his flaws. He has a lot of flaws. There are some things that people have said in these videos that I would believe are true. Some of them I don't believe are true. In my experience, or maybe I just haven't experienced them. But Rich Lux is not without his flaws, okay? He does have a big head sometimes. He does act like his brand this, his brand that, all this hoo-ha, whoop de doo da like all that, okay? It is what it is. There are times, and I just, and you know what I'm gonna say in this video, Rich and I just had a fight that was a month long. It was, it ended up being a big misunderstanding and we worked it out, but I'm not sure if we'll ever be at that super close place we were again. Okay, I um, said I didn't wanna edit any, anything in this video, but I did edit up that little segment just because I got tongue tied and I didn't, I don't wanna person, post too much of my personal business on the internet like that, so. Um, but yeah, Rich is not without his flaws, okay? He is a good person and down deep. I really do believe that. I think sometimes um, the glitz of social media, the attention of social media, the idea of clicks and views and hits and gains and all that stuff on your YouTube channel, I think that that sometimes gets in the way of his, of his thinking and his thought process. But I do think that deep down he is a good person. Um, not everything people have said in these videos is a, is a lie. Some of them, at least in my experience, are not true. I can't speak to anybody else in this regard, but one thing I will say in defense of Rich Lux in this video, because I'm not defending anyone in this video, but the one thing I will say in defense of him, I'm not on anybody's side, is that this video that's allegedly out there of Nick Snyder during a relapse in 2019, I have never seen that video. And Nick, I can promise you, and I can swear on everything, I have not seen that video, I have never heard of that video, and everything that Rich Lux has ever told me about you and your history with, with substance abuse has always been with the utmost respect for your health and your well-being and your future. 
And I will say that from the bottom of my heart wholeheartedly. I cannot speak to what Rich has told other people or shown other people, but nobody that's close to me that knows him even knows about this video either. So if there is some sort of hurt out there based on a video of you in the middle of a relapse, that could be very, you know, hurtful to be shown to people or dangerous to be shown to people, whatever, whatever your thought process is on why you don't want people to see that, that's your right to have that thought process and feel that way. I have never even heard of it until it was mentioned by you, right? And um, I know a lot of stuff that's gone on um, in the history of stuff that's going on based on what I've heard from him. There's different sides to every story, obviously, but I've heard a lot of different stories, a lot of different things, some not so nice stories, some great stories about a lot of people within y'all's little friend group over the, over the years. And that's just the honest truth. We talk a lot. We talk on the phone a couple nights a week for like a couple hours each time. You know, I've been, I've been in the house with him or hanging out with him when the um, audio messages from y'all's group chat, will he'll just press play and we'll just listen to him or whatever. Like I've, I've been there and seen a lot of that. I've heard a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. I've, I've, I've heard a lot of it. I've never heard him say anything about that. And anytime he's ever spoken about your history with substance abuse, he has always spoken with the utmost respect. Even to the point when I was headed over to you and Jen and Dustin's house and I said, I text him and I said, hey, I'm at the store right now. Should I grab a bottle of wine? I want to bring something. I want to do something. What should I bring? I was like, should I bring a bottle of champagne, bottle of wine? He said, do not bring alcohol to that house. Nick is recovering. It's not a good move to bring alcohol into their house like that. I said, okay, that is, thank you for letting me know. So I didn't bring alcohol into the, I didn't bring a bottle. And he's always spoken in the, with, the utmost respect about your um, about your abuse, so history with abuse and um, your path to sobriety and your 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 sobriety rather. So just know that at least it's coming from my end, and and anybody I've ever hung out with around him, I've never heard him speak of it either. So for what that's worth, I don't know if that means anything to you or not. It probably doesn't, but just for the record. Um, you guys, I listened to what Paige put onto Twitter today and it was only up for a little bit and then it looks like Paige disabled her Twitter and I was heartbroken from hearing that. Um, this has caused so much harm and so much hurt for, for so many people involved. I truly don't believe it falls on just one person who is the fault in all of this. I think everyone should take a moment to self-reflect on some stuff and realize their part in it and maybe just kind of understand that, hey, um, this friend group was good to me. This person was good to me for a while while it lasted. This is what I learned from this person, whether it be good or bad, because not everyone's in your life to teach you a good thing. And then just take that lesson and just move forward because right now there's unnecessary stuff being put on the internet. And it's just getting mess. It's just getting so, so sad to watch. It's so sad to watch. I don't have a side in this because I have experienced some things where I've had to check Rich Lux myself on some things a couple times in our friendship. And I have. Um, so I know that he is no angel. He's not perfect. I also don't believe that Nick or Dustin are perfect. I don't believe Paige is, I don't believe anyone's perfect. I believe there's innocent bystanders who are just in there trying to defend their friends like Vanessa and Van Luke and now Chime um, that shouldn't have gotten involved in, in the involved in it to begin with. And that's why I'm keeping this as neutral as possible because I don't want to be, I'm not team anyone right? Not team anyone. Um, 
I will say I don't believe in airing my dirty laundry with anybody online, which is the reason that I cut out, I cut out and edited a little piece of this video because it was a little bit of my dirty laundry with Rich that I've had in the past. I don't believe in airing that online. Um, I believe it should be handled behind the scenes. And when you air it online, it becomes, it becomes about clicks and views. And I don't believe that personal relationships with people are about clicks and views. I believe they're about the relationship with the person. And right now there's a lot of hurt and it seems like these friendships have dissolved. And if they've dissolved, then that is what happened, right? You know, some things you can't go back from, some things you can't change. Time heals a lot, but sometimes it's just time, to, it's just time to move on. And, um, it's time to move on, then move on. Embrace what you learned that was good. Embrace what you learned that was bad, whether that's a bad trait in a person you never wanna see come out in, within yourself or one, something you'll never tolerate from a friend again or on either side, right? Or whatever the case is, but take what you learned from that and let's move forward, let's move on. Because right now we're just, we're just fueling the hurt, fueling the negativity, you know? And there's years and years worth of hurt that's all compiled up now. And just take what you've learned and let's all just move on. Let's all just move on. This has to stop before people keep getting more and more hurt, you know? I had a conversation with Dustin after um, this, when this whole thing was going on. And, you know, I, to I told him some things, you know, um, that aren't gonna be put out there. We had a conversation about the whole thing and he knows I don't think Rich Talks is perfect, right? He knows that. Um, I, j I don't think anyone's perfect in this situation, you know? I think that I want the best for all parties involved because like I said, I think that Nick is lovely. I think Dustin is lovely. I think, you know, Paige is lovely. I think that I met Vanessa when I was in Dallas. I met Vanessa and I think she's lovely. You know, I think Vanessa's um, video stems from a place of uh, being offended over time from, from certain things. Maybe their personalities clash and maybe she just saw the sides of Rich that, because he does have some sides that aren't pleasant, right? I think we all do. I have some sides of me that I would never want anyone on the internet to see, right? Um, we all have those sides and maybe Vanessa saw a little bit too much of those negative sides from Rich, but there is positive sides to Rich Lux too. There is. Um, I think Vanessa's video comes from a place of hurt. I think it comes from a place of hurt for her friend and hurt from, um, from herself and maybe her past experiences and things that happened. But you take the lesson that you learned and you move forward and and that's all I really have to say about this you know it's, it's the reason I don't want to make this video is because people are going to watch this video and think I'm being wishy-washy and, and riding the fence on everything and I'm not riding a fence I'm not being wishy-washy I just this is really how I feel this is really how I feel about this you know um I'm tired of hearing about it in my personal life I'm tired of hearing about it online um, I wish the best for every single party involved. T Paige, come back to Twitter. Like, you are loved. You are appreciated. You know, um, I can completely understand why you're feeling the way that you did. I think that the tweet that Chime made, it's now deleted. He deleted it because he regrets it. Um, I think that tweet was, was not worded right. I think he tagged you, but he should have tagged somebody else. He should have tagged the person that brought up the video that Rich allegedly has or supposedly has or whatever that I've never seen, but it might be out there. Who knows? Um, I think that he should have tagged them. He shouldn't have tagged you. Um, I heard your, pa your pain on the live stream with Van Luke and Rich. I heard your pain in your Twitter little voice memo thing that you left. I hear your pain page and I am so sorry that you're feeling that way. And that actually, hearing Paige's last voice note to Twitter or whatever you call that thing is what prompted me to make this video because there's just too much hurt going on, guys. 
stop this. We're hurting each other. I think the only thing that, that's left that needs to be done, and I'm going to say this because only because keep the same energy, right? Rich always tells people they need to make apology videos. Rich always tells people they need to address things in videos and, and within his own videos. He'll say it about Trisha. He'll say it about James, Jeffrey, who, Shane, whoever, right? Rich, you need to address this in a formal manner, a manner in a video if we're going to keep the same energy. That's my personal thing. You need to address your friends in a video if, that's, if we're keeping the same energy. You always say when people call people out about certain things on the internet, they need to address it. And I think you need to address it. And just addressing, and you did address the Nikocado Avocado video. You took it down and all of that. You addressed it, okay? That, that's it. But unfortunately, that's only where this thing began. And now it has gone in a completely different direction. And now your friends are voicing how hurt they are with you. And I think you should address it in the video um, if we're keeping the same energy with that. So again, I don't have a side in this. Um, if anything in this video, I think I iterated a lot that I that Rich is not perfect because I think that people are going to jump to think that I'm on Rich Lux's side in this and I'm not. So I think the reason that I've iterated, reiterated in this video so many times that he's not perfect and that I've had to check him and that we had a fight recently and all these things is because I don't want people to think that I'm completely on his side because I'm not. I'm period point blank in a story I'm not. Okay. I'm not on anyone's side. I just want the hurt to stop. And um, yeah. That's all I really have to say about this. I think that this thing should end with Rich addressing it because he hasn't addressed his friend's hurt yet. And if you ask people to ask other creators to always address things when they're brought up and scandals and stuff, I think that you should do the same and keep the same energy. Um, aside from that, Paige, I hope that you feel better. I hope that you stop feeling the pain that you're feeling. Um, because I hear it and I see it and you guys already know I'm, I'm very emotional so when I see something like that and I feel oh my god I get emotional too and I'm, I'm not gonna do that in this video because it's not about me her pain is not about me right but I feel for you and I'm sorry um Dustin Nick Vanessa Van Luke everyone involved that's been affected and hurt by this in any way I just hoping for healing in this and that we can all just move forward and um start the next chapter and phase in life and wh whatever that brings so anyway um i'm getting cheesy and emotional but this is torn up uh a really beautiful friend group and it's sad but i'll see you on the next video because i'm getting emotional for no i'm also pmsing maybe that's why i'm crying i don't know but anyway see you on the next video bye <laughs>